meats bring a greater risk of some cancers. Sue Saville has the details. The biggest analysis ever done, red meat and processed meats are found to be a cause of cancer. Families are being warned to avoid them or cut down their intake, which might be hard for some. We do eat meat about twice a week and my husband certainly, he likes meat more than I do. He likes to have meat every day. I like the occasional burger, I like the occasional McDonald's. I like eating meat and uh, well, I like it. So I don't want to give it up. It's a tough message for families like the Ezra's here who believe they're eating healthily. The new data has convincing evidence that processed meats, including bacon and ham, can cause colorectal cancer and should be avoided. And red meat should be restricted to just 500 grams a week. This steak and chop add up to the recommended maximum amount of meat per week, 700 grams raw, 500 grams cooked. The new evidence is compelling, says the report's chairman. The less processed meat you eat, the lower the risk of cancer. That means sausages and bacon, the best amount to eat of those is none at all. The advice from the global study is the most authoritative yet on how to prevent cancer. The key recommendations are be lean at the lower end of your weight range, avoid processed meats, mothers should breastfeed their children for at least six months, avoid fatty and sugary foods, cut down on salt and drink only moderately. For the first time, the data shows that it's not just being obese that risks cancer, but even being slightly overweight. And excess fat is now thought to be as high a cancer risk as is smoking. The factors that are uh, related to food, nutrition and physical activity probably account for the same sort of number of cancers as, as does smoking in current Western societies. The Western habits of too much alcohol, smoking and fatty sugary foods are killing us. And the evidence is piling up that we must take quite drastic action to prevent cancer. Sue Saville, ITV News.